over disciplining of the students of color and they're just enabling the system that we already have to fight every day. Activists armed with disturbing videos and detailed studies claim school police treat minority students more harshly and arrest them more often. Now cities from Minneapolis to Denver and Portland have decided to remove police from their schools. Oakland passed the George Floyd resolution to eliminate school police. I just really couldn't believe my eyes. In Chicago, Laurentio Howard was at his daughter's high school when he says she was beaten, tased, and injured by school police. The incident caught on camera started when she refused to put a cell phone away in class. So I'm telling the officer, that's not necessary. Why are you all doing this? I'm right here. I'm a dad. They told me to shut up and stand back. Today, Chicago officials said they are committed to a full and thorough investigation and could not comment further because the case involves a minor. Howard joined protesters last week the school board in a close virtual vote decided to keep resource officers in Chicago schools. This helps create the environment of safety for the students that keeps them coming to school. And the board voted to keep officers in the school vote for your mind. I was devastated. Chicago's mayor backs the decision and says local school boards should make the call. They are in those schools. Their children are in the school. They have the best interest of that school at heart. Students say the money for police should be spent on counselors, nurses, and education. We need that money invested towards the school, actually, not, not the police, since the BNS is the arrest key. Across the country, as many as 20,000 school resource officers, a number that has increased in response to school shootings. I do worry that this very important protective layer of school safety gets removed. Mo Kennedy runs an organization that trains school resource officers. We're really specific with us artists about things that they can do, especially around understanding their own implicit biases. They can help them better engage uh, with students of all colors. Schools are not correctional facilities. Schools are places where kids have the opportunity to make mistakes and not be penalized for the rest of their lives. As protesters try to force more police out of the nation's schools. Ron Allen, NBC News, New York.